Okay, let's take a look at sampling from a population. We looked at this um, before, but um, I don't think I gave you an example of a CSV file. Now here's our file we're going to sample from, pop1.csv, and you see the different information here, um, their ID number, uh, then the gender, and then the height. Okay. First, I'm going to do a set working directory, and uh, let's see. I think it's just one slash, but we'll see if that's true. I said I have this saved in the TMP2 directory, and um, I know a lot of focus is putting on setting your working directory to begin with, um, but I think you shouldn't be restricted to just always saving your files in that one place. Um, you should feel comfortable with changing it to different different locations. Okay, and uh, let's say P. And uh, read.csv, um, let me see what I call it, pop1.csv. Okay, now that's going to that's gonna, uh, make the association between P and our CSV file. Now we want to uh, sample from within the, uh, the, the data. Specifically, Notice across top here it says ID, sex, and height. Um, that first uh, row is titles, and that helps us specify which one we're going to be working with. So uh, here, PSAMP, we do sampling with our sample again, and then um, I'm going to have P and then dollar sign height and comma. And next one, as you see from the uh, pop-up there, tells us the size. So if you ever forget, then um, that's handy. And so if I put 100 in, I'll uh, sample 100 values. And now let's print the, the sample. And uh, P sample. And I got something wrong. Let me look here. Set working directory. Oh, I gotta highlight all those. Okay, still got something wrong. No such file or directory. Okay, so let's try two slashes. Nah. Highlight that. There it goes. Okay. Sometimes I don't remember the syntax uh, quite correct. Um, just have to play with it a little bit and see. Some programming languages require two slashes, some some will take one slash. But uh, this 155, 157, so forth, is not the first 100. So it's doing random sampling throughout here. Now, um, if I change this to instead of height, to ID. And highlight those and run it. Now you see it's um, doing it based upon the the ID. Um, what was the other one called? Uh, sex. Okay. And I like that. And then you see that. So. Um, it does not matter which column you want to work with. It's very easy uh, to work with CSV files. I'll put that back to height because I'm going to copy the code over for you. But that's how you do your random sample from within a file. Of course, then you go do something with this. 